any such behaviour of that kind would be inappropriate. But what's the punishment? I mean, Chris Renard has been through a year of hell. I think in other circumstances, people might have been driven close to suicide by the sheer publicity, the humiliation he's had to suffer on national television and through the newspapers day after day after day. This is a good, decent man who has been punished by the party and with a leadership, leadership of the party that seems to be showing you know, scant regard for due process or, indeed, for the presumption of innocence. If there is an acceptance on his part that these, these women felt uncomfortable, what is wrong with just saying sorry to them? Well, there's a number of issues there. First of all, you know, what is that apology supposed to mean? Because I think that apolo I, th I think it would be. Well, sorry means sorry, surely. It, well, well, no. Is that sorry for? I'm sorry. I made a sexual advance on you, or you think I made a sexual advance on you, but, but I didn't. Because absolutely, he says I did not do such a thing. Or is that apology for saying you seem to be the under impression that that I did something which I didn't do? I mean, I mean, is well, that... we've all done that, haven't we? We've, well, we've all said sorry to people who we've... may have misconstrued something. Well, I think, I think maybe someone should define what sorry is in this case, and I suppose that has to be Nick Clegg, because it's not clear. Uh, what do you make of, of Nick Clegg saying this morning he's hoping it doesn't get to the point where Chris Renner walks into the House of Lords this afternoon? He seems a bit vague as to, to what the repercussions of that would be, but the Lib Dems are in a mess over this, aren't they? I, I, I listened to Nick this morning, I listened to him on Radio 4. Um, I didn't understand what he was saying. Well, he, what, what he said was he's hoping that it doesn't get to the point where he has to do something. I, I kept hearing Nick talking about a report which had been published, which hasn't been published, which is secret. I um, kept Nick, hearing Nick saying an apology was needed, but I'm not sure what sort of apology is needed, especially as Chris Renard absolutely denies having made any sexual advances. And, and quite clearly, through the police have investigated that, found there's no case to answer. The parties found that, so there's not even a case... You know, in English law under a quasi-judicial procedure for suspending his party membership. I'm not sure what Chris Moore, Chris Renard, is expected to do. All I do know is this man has been put through hell and maybe it's the party who owes him an apology.